What's up, guys? All right, so uh, heading in on a mule deer hunt right now. We're coming up on late season stuff. So real quick, wanted to do a short video on some of the gear that goes in the truck this time of year. Some of this stuff stays in year round. Some of it just comes in this time of year as we get closer to November where Montana, we see nasty cold days sometimes. They come in overnight things change drastically. So you want some gear to either keep you warm while you're stuck or to be able to get out and unstuck or just get out of the area that you're in. So um, again, some of this stuff stays uh, with me year round. Like everything in this box is pretty much a year round equipment. A lot of this stuff, it's seasonal. So these late season hunts, I always bring my little Honda 2000. Uh, I can get the block heater going on this thing, keep this diesel warm um keep it from freezing up obviously an extension cord i only bring that this time of year where there's potential to have super cold weather uh chainsaw i'll bring that sometimes on spring hunts if i'm going into a certain area that hasn't been cleared out yet to get my truck to a trailhead sometimes spring bear it's pretty bad uh, also fall season like in a burn area um, for example like western montana there's a lot of wooded big mountains that we go up into and sometimes a big storm will hit you when you're up there and you got to get your way out. Chainsaw is real handy. Uh, I've got a bunch of tow ropes and things that I can yank trees with as well. But I'll bring this um, this time of year. I always have an extra can, five gallons of diesel on these trips. It's just nice to have a small can of just regular for the chainsaw and the Honda. Heavy duty chains, all four, I'd highly recommend that. Get some good chains. Uh, chains break if they're the cheapos, um, and they'll probably break when you need them the most. So just invest in, I would recommend, it. invest in a heavy, heavy duty set of chains for all four tires. I carry this rope, I've had this rope forever. I'll use it for a variety of things. Um, you know, I can build a little saddle. Say if I get high centered, I can build a little saddle and get that wheel to where I can jack it up. I carry a high lift right here so I can get this thing unstuck, build my way out of, a, out of an area if I do get it high centered. And I can just, like I said, build a saddle with this rope to use. The only other place to jack would be right off the frame back here. And that can be tough in certain positions. So the high lift jack, this time of year, I bring this little Matic pick uh, that comes in handy when you got to like excavate big amount of dirt when you're uh, again high centered or stuck and in Montana we got that gumbo which when it gets wet you get a little bit of rain and it's really hard to travel in that gumbo sometimes you'll get stuck and you literally have to wait till it either dries out or freezes in the middle of the night to get your get yourself out that's when it's nice to have something like this that you can really move some dirt. I uh, always carry just a few blocks of wood, two by sixes, just for some support for the high lift or whatever. So that's, that's some seasonal stuff for the most part. Um, just regular essential gear. It all fits in this little roughneck tote. Got one small shovel, I actually carry two. I've just had this forever. Small shovel is easy to get underneath the tires underneath if you uh, get yourself up in a snow drift and, and get pinned, all that snow gets pinned up in there. It's nice to have a smaller shovel. Glass and pad for kneeling down, throwing chains on, that comes in handy. Uh, I've got this canvas six by seven tarp. Again, you get wet snow, uh, mud, it's nice to be able to lay down on something when you're getting underneath, dropping, putting the chains on or whatever. Um, that's just something you should always have. Uh, let's see, jumper cables, heavy duty set. These go everywhere, pretty self-explanatory. You might need it or somebody else might need it. Uh, it's kind of a backup to my jumper box. I'll pull that out in a second. Uh, I've got this little Collapsible metal shovel as well, little shorty, just for a backup. 
Uh, for tires, just a little set of tire plugs. It's just the whole kit in here. So if I need to fix a flat, I can do that. I also carry a can of fix a flat. And then, you know, obviously always checking your spare before these this time of year is a smart idea. Make sure it's pumped up. A um, couple different sets of leather gloves, lighter weight, and then some insulated leathers. Pretty easy. Carry some, it's a diesel truck. I run house through it this time of year as it gets colder, keep it from gelling up. In case of emergency, I got the diesel 911. Uh, and then a little funnel for getting anything into the into the tank on this truck. A little tool kit. It's just got a variety of screwdrivers, pliers, zip ties. There's a rat tail in here for sharpening up the chainsaw. Um, wrenches, crescents, a little bit of everything. Just anything you might need to uh, work on the truck or whatever. Uh, socket set. Duct tape for whatever. If you ever do break a break a chain, you can actually build a little piece of rope out of this and uh, use this to kind of just repair your chain for a quick fix. Because it does happen. Uh, for those times when trees come down, maybe you don't have the chainsaw, you didn't bring it, just a little splitter. Um, and then this big silky saw. This thing is nice to just keep in the truck always. It's a big boy, cuts through pretty near everything. So that stays in there. A variety of different tow ropes. Got a big 30 foot stretch, heavy duty tow. And then a couple of these. Got one in the truck, one in here. Make sure if you do get something like this, you got some D shackles to get it locked into the bumper. These make it real easy to uh, fasten it and run this to pull people out or help other people pull you out. Oh, a couple of hand warmers, just a little 18 hours, just in case your fingers freeze up, working on chains, truck's not started or something. Um, they just get tossed in there. Uh, a good jumper or uh, air inflator. This is a 20 volt DeWalt. Um, definitely burn through my share of tire inflators that either don't blow this uh, blow these tires up to the right PSI or they're just uh, they just overheat and they burn out so uh, good to invest in a good one and the last thing in this box is this big 3400 peak amp uh, jumper box it'll get this diesel going if my battery does drain for whatever reason I've got two batteries in here uh, it's not usually an issue, but if it was to happen, that thing will get it going. Um, and I can use it for helping other people out in a pinch as well. So outside of that, if I'm doing these late season trips, obviously you're always gonna have your hunting gear, sleeping bag, air pad, um, communication device if you're out of service, GPS is gonna be in there. My medical kit is gonna be in there. And uh, so pretty much everything you need if you get stuck. And that's about it. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, I'm sure there's guys that, you know, have a lot of different things in here, you know, tread pads to get out and unstuck. There's all kinds of things out there on the market. I just try to keep this system pretty tight as much as I can in this box, which is most of it. And then obviously a couple of odds and ends that just go in the truck this time of year. So hopefully that helps. Good luck to everybody out there chasing these late season bucks. That's where we're heading right now.